what is up everybody? Catherine here with Sacred Cycles and today we are going to be reviewing the book The Way of the Green Witch by R.N. Murphy Hiscock. I will be dropping a picture in here here in the next couple seconds for you guys so you guys can see what the old binding, uh, sorry the old cover and the new cover both look like and then we're going to be hashing it with my notes which are here on my tablet. Um, this is a book I have for my Kindle, so it's really hard to really kind of show a visual on uh, screen. So do bear with me. Anyway, we're going to drop that, drop those covers uh, for you guys right now. Okay, so we're going to kind of, I'm going to kind of give you the pros, give you the cons uh, of, that I feel are the, of the book. And then tell you if I recommend it or not. How about that? Very simple. Okay, so some of the things that I really do like about the book is it is a very well-written book. You could tell that the author is very knowledgeable in her subject, um, that she's very knowledgeable in the sense of writing as well. The her writing style is very simple and easy to understand, which is really good. Uh, like I said, definitely very well, very well written, and it is very easy to understand. Um, another thing that I like is in the book, Aaron herself mentions multiple times um, and emphasizes it, uh, to be honest, the importance of working with what is around. As a green witch, we work with what is readily available a lot of the time, such as, you know, if we need a wand, but we don't have a wand that we use on a day-to-day -day basis, um, what we would do in that sense is we would find a fallen branch, ask for permission, and use it as a wand for that particular spell. Um, or use, uh, if we need to tie something to earth magic, um, and we don't have all the herbs and everything, let's say we're out in the forest or whatever, and there's a rock right there, use the rock to tie our magic to the earth in that particular place and spot. Okay. So I really do like the fact that she emphasizes the importance of using what is around. Another thing is she has the perfect balance of explaining, explaining things, connecting them to the bigger picture, uh, giving decent exercises for the reader to practice and gain personal experience with. There's a very good balance of all of this in the book. It's not more explaining or connecting things to a bigger picture or giving our sizes there's it is just the perfect balance within this book and i really do like this book i cannot stress this enough okay some other good things that she does talk about is, is she does suggest quite often to pay more attention to our natural environment uh, as that will give us signs and clues as to what is happening or currently occurring um within that environment as well as she gives, she wants you to pay attention to your natural environment in the sense of, you know, what's around you, getting used to the energies of your natural environment and those sorts of things, which is very, very good. The next thing we have here is she does, she does make an effort to lead the reader towards listening to themselves. She doesn't emphasize this quite enough, in my opinion, in the book, but she does make a good attempt at trying to lead you to listening to yourself, listening to your intuition and what your body, your mind, and your spirit, as well as your um, intuition are telling you and to work with it. She, does, she has a very strong emphasis on multiple areas, and I'm gonna just read this right off of my notes. She strongly emphasizes intuition, openness, listening, trusting, feeling, um, emotions, going through the flow, not forcing things, connecting and harmonizing, being aware um, and intentional, you know, being intentional and purposeful in what you do. And more other things, I just didn't write them all down. So, yeah, we, all, we know what I like about the book. What do I not like about the book? I only have one complaint about this about this book other than it should be I wish it was longer that is one complaint the other one is is in the I think it's like the introduction or the first pair of first chapter it's like either every every other 
paragraph, like every other sentence, she emphasizes the two, two, ter two words, green witchcraft, which does get annoying from time to time. But all in all, she's trying to establish green witchcraft as a spiritual path and practice. So I understood what she was trying to get, get at, but, you know, she just uses those two words so frequently. So would I recommend this book? Hell, yes. Actually, scratch that. Hell the fuck yes, I would. Mainly because this is a very good beginner book on green witchcraft. It has helped me tremendously, and it is the it is my go to book when I have questions on thing on just the very basics of green witchcraft. So yes, I would definitely rate this book on a scale of one to five. I would rate this book about a four point five, mainly because I wish it was long enough. Um, and you know it repeats green witchcraft, which those two minor annoyances just take off like a half of, a half of a rating there and. We're at 4.5. So all in all, it's a really great book. I'll drop the link in the description bar for you guys. And until next time, thank you for all the love and support. And namaste.